I'm 24 years old and I'm a social media manager in New York City. I make $75,000 a year at my current job and I live in a one bedroom apartment in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. My rent is $1,800 a month and with utilities it ends up being around $1,950. It was definitely a stretch for me financially at the time, but I knew that I was never gonna find a place in Williamsburg, a one bedroom at this price, ever again. I put a lot of effort into making my space feel like a true home so that I can have friends over to entertain. So I actually found this apartment through two of my friends. They found this apartment on Craigslist. My only complaint about this apartment would be the lack of space in the bathroom, but for now, I would much rather have entertaining space in my living room than in my restroom. So the best part about my apartment is definitely the front yard because it adds so much extra square feet, which is precious here for entertaining, hanging out, lounging. I usually get home from work around 6 p.m. Our circle of friends has really used this space as a common ground and a gathering place. So on a Friday night, it's most likely that we're all hanging out in the front yard. I use two credit cards. One is for food and travel, and the other one is basically any other purchases like clothes or tickets, whatever that might look like. I definitely pay off my credit card bill every month automatically. So on a Friday night, I often stop at Whole Foods on the way home, and you know I'll grab meat and drinks and you know whatever else is on the menu for that night. Salsa, chips, whatever meat's on sale at Whole Foods, corn, fruit, the whole shipping. So my grocery bill ends up being somewhere around $50, $55, depending on whether or not I have liquor left over from the past weekend. I'm known for margaritas, so that's definitely a go-to for my weekend hang. I'm completely debt-free. The older I get, the more I realize how lucky I was that my parents paid for my college education, and therefore I had a clean slate financially when I got out of college and graduated. I've already set up an emergency fund and a high yield savings account, so my priority is no longer to put money into there. I have about $14,000 in my savings account. Currently in my 401k account, I have around $9,000 and in my outside investments, I have around $6,000. About $430 a month goes towards my 401k through my work and then about $100, $150 goes into outside investments. So I cook almost every meal at home and then I like to save eating out for special occasions, birthdays. Basically, I try to avoid spending $15, eat an overpriced salad at my desk. In addition to the $50 that I'm usually spending on like a weekend hangout, grill out, I usually spend about $65 on groceries in a week. I grew up, you know, going to the outdoors all the time, so I've been here for six years and I've learned how to survive is to bring the greenery to you. So I've got, you know, plants in my front yard, plants in my house, plants over my bed, you know, wherever I can put plants, there's a plant. So every spring, once the last snow has officially, officially happened, my housemates and I will head over to Home Depot and buy plants and soil and seeds for the spring. I love to travel, and in order to make that feasible, I subsidize that by renting out my apartment when I'm gone for about $120, $145 a night. I usually make around $250 to $300 a month. I can a lot of times come out even when I'm traveling within the United States. A lot of times when I'm purchasing tickets, I actually rarely use dollars. I'm using points because I've strategically chosen credit cards that have some really, really great travel rewards. I would say my biggest financial weakness, I spend money on vintage clothes. Over the last couple of years, I've invested in coats and shoes and purses. So vintage in the city, as I'm sure a lot of you know, is extremely overpriced, but I've also kind of balanced that out with going upstate to these consignment stores that end up having these like amazing treasures. I lived in New York for six years. I definitely went out a lot more when I was younger. Clubs, parties, whatever. Now I'm just like a grandma and I just like to hang out in my front yard and drink a margarita and read a book. Becoming very lame, very young, but, <laughs> but also very frugal. I really, really love this apartment. My friends really love this apartment. I don't plan to leave this apartment until I leave New York, which neither are happening anytime soon. In a lot of ways, this feels like a home where people can come as they are and stay as long as they like within reason. I would say my relationship with money is healthy, but I learned some lessons from my parents, both mistakes and things that are really smart to do. So living frugally, so avoiding debt at all times, avoiding high interest credit cards, and then also on the flip side, live frugally, but also live generously. Generosity can look different for everybody, whether that's your time or your money. So now that I'm in a place where I can give back financially, both to my friends and to my church and to my community, I wanna do that.